Hey, what's up everybody? Michael DiTullo here and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be doing a demo on a kind of bottom three-quarter sketch of um, a shoe. This is a view I really like to sketch when I'm exploring footwear because it gives you a little bit more of a three-dimensional sense of what's going on versus just a straight lateral view and it's super fun and dynamic and I draw this view so many so much that I've seen some people online call it the D2 of you, which is, which is kind of them, I think. Uh, but today I'm gonna to break it down for you how, how I do it. And I'll, I'll do a slightly simpler version, uh, which is basically a modified two-point perspective. So <clears throat> usually when we see a, a two-point perspective, we think of the, the horizon line going horizontally like this, and the vanishing points are out here, and you know we can project some lines to start forming some objects in space, something like this. Those are some two-point perspectives. This is this is a little bit the opposite of that, where the horizon line is almost going vertical here. Actually, I'll just draw straight through this sketch. So the horizon line is going vertically, and you can imagine just the envelope of this in space is going something like this. So let's start a sketch from scratch to see how that kind of plays out. So again, I'm gonna be thinking about that, that vertical line that my vanishing points are gonna, are gonna reside on. and start defining the envelope uh, for the shoe to reside in. The, the, and what I mean by the envelope is kind of the, the outer bounds of it. Right, so basically, again, this kind of two-point perspective where my, my vanishing points are, are way off, off the page here. And it's kind of, you know, you'll notice I kind of do some, what I call ghost lines, where before I actually put the line down, I'll, I'll just do this so I can make sure I'm kind of being in the right spot. But this, this is basically where our shoe's gonna reside, okay? And from there, I'll start sculpting away at that, you know, understanding this kind of toe rocker, arch coming into a heel, basically kind of sculpting away an outsole, knowing that it's kind of bending a little bit like this. And bending a little bit towards the heel as well. Because I want to have kind of a firm grasp of the perspective and then I want to have a firm grasp of kind of the, the foot form in that perspective, which is, it's challenging. So it's definitely, you know, a challenging view to master. So that, that's basically the envelope or, or the raw structure that we could start exploring a design over top of, right? So from here, now I'll just start, I'll start exploring and, and typically I'll, I'll have some thumbnails that I've already done maybe on post-it notes. Um, so I'm not just kind of coming into this totally dry. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a go since we're just, we're just kind of goofing around a little bit here and explore some shapes and how they might wrap around from the bottom uh, all the way around, up the side. And here I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to explore kind of three-dimensionally, thinking about what those forms might be doing. This 
kind of squares off a little bit in the back. Sculpt here in the midsole. Maybe there's kind of like a, an outrigger shape. Maybe this is a training shoe of some kind. So it's kind of bulging outward in this direction. I'm just kind of exploring here. I'm trying to understand. I, mean, I, I never try to just put lines down on the page. You know, I want to understand what the lines mean, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to think in terms of, of form. And that's why sometimes I like to use a pencil like this where I can really kind of switch between the tip of the pencil and the side of the pencil. some kind of a exposed midfoot plate here. And typically everybody's everybody's different. Everybody uh, approaches things differently, of course. Um, but I kind of I always like to start with the tooling. So I'm always starting with kind of the molded components because I feel like that's the that's the foundation that the rest of the shoe kind of springs from for me. And I'll start coming in maybe adding some some rubber pods in here. again thinking about that that perspective right so we have that vanishing point that's that's going to be way up here on, on this line so if there's any kind of linear like flex elements they're all going to be kind of running up or traction elements they're all going to be kind of running up to that if, if they're if they're following that um, that if they're if they're straight across basically but this design kept turning out to be very kind of dynamic. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of things that just run straight across. Kind of, we have a lot of chevron shapes going on here. So I'm just going to play that up a little bit with these kind of chevron traction patterns. And then maybe this is some kind of a outrigger here and maybe we're just gonna play up that shape a little too. I'm just kind of roughing it out. This is this is gonna be basically an underlay that I'll do a, a nicer sketch over top of. So I don't have to worry about it being too perfect. And that's I kind of like to give myself the opportunity to mess up. That's the way I like to think about it. You know if, if I if I just go into it thinking like oh the first sketch is gonna be the final sketch I'm almost guaranteed to, to screw it up. But if I just go into it thinking like it's, I'm just, I'm exploring here, I'm gonna figure it out as I go along. Um, I typically do, I typically do a lot better. All right, let's see what else you wanna do coming. Maybe there's like a, I'm gonna start exploring the upper now. Maybe there's like a, an overlay that echoes this outrigger a little bit just to emphasize it. And it goes into the toe box, maybe. I'm gonna 
exaggerate that heel shape a little bit. And maybe we can echo this line into a heel, a heel foxing piece here. This little heel cup. Pull this off into a little eye row. You won't see too much of that because it's going to be kind of wrapping around away from us here, but you just see a little bit. Again, thinking about where that vanishing point is, right? It's up here, so I'm going to see a little bit. This is maybe a, a sock knit kind of a construction, so we're going to see a little bit of the inside of the shoe right there. Same as this is coming around. You might just see a little bit of the other side of that. I'm just gonna add some, some perforations to this heel piece. And maybe we'll pick that back up in this part. Yeah, I think I've got a pretty nicely kind of roughed out design that I could put underneath here and overlay and see if we can come up with something a little cleaner. All right, I'm gonna get a fresh pencil here. So now that you can see I have, I have this underlay, right? I did, I roughed out my perspective, I roughed out the, the foot form, I roughed out the design. I put, put that underneath a nice clean sheet and then come at it again. And just giving myself a, a second chance at this design to see like, okay, what did I like? What do I wanna maybe just modify a little bit? Kind of tweaking the lines as I go. Maybe, let's see what I want to do here. Add a little extra form. A little sculpt in there. This design has almost like a the heel is almost like a separate piece. I mean, it'd be one piece in the midsole, but the form is almost a separate form. So you're gonna bring that rubber pod forward a little bit. So this would all be kind of sculpted down and away from us. It'll actually inset the rubber pod from that, that surface a little bit. Bring it up a little bit shorter, which would remove a little bit of weight out. So remember, this is kind of wrapping around, right? So again, thinking of where that vanishing point is, this is kind of doing this in cross section. Okay, let's start working on that, that front pod. I'm actually gonna make these touch a little bit here. Okay. 
that's gonna be kind of like a little flex groove in the front there. And then again, you gotta inset the rubber pod into that kind of plateau a little bit. And wrap it up the side here. Yeah, this, is, this is a little bit of an interesting design. And then we've got this another plateau in the, in the forefoot here. And then again, we've got that exposed midfoot part down here. Always being very careful with my line weight. You know, like I keep it, I tend to keep things pretty light until I need to. So I really want to show off that this is a, a different part. So you notice how I'm making that line weight heavy around it. And the same here. This this is this is the rubber pod. So I'm going to again make that line weight pretty heavy. Just to show that a separation there. And managing that, that line weight as I go, even though I'm not anywhere near done with the design, but as I've been working the design, my my pencil tip has been getting duller and duller, so I can get a, a thicker line with that. So I might as well do it before I have to kind of break my, my flow to sharpen it. I'm gonna do kind of a thinner rubber web here in the front. All right, let me get let me get this pencil a little bit sharpened here. <laughs> okay. So let's see, then I have these kind of concentric details in the outrigger. And this is a little bit of a lighter line weight because those are just little details going on in there and then let's, let's finish up this midsole here kind of dive the midsole down so that I could really accentuate the midsole coming back up around this outrigger Maybe just jog it a little bit as a little bit of a, of a flex notch in front of that that um, that outrigger. Again, thinking about what's going on, kind of form wise there, and that this could kind of all be kind of slightly chamfered or, or angled away. All right, I'm going to start working into my upper finally. One of the things I love is when upper lines come into the tooling. And sometimes that might just happen in like a, a texture change or it might be a paint line. So I'm gonna take some of these upper lines and just kind of pull it into the tool a little bit. This makes it a little bit more interesting, more dynamic. Maybe we'll 
just do like a little, kind of pick up the, the detail that's going on here. Kind of do a little eyelet for that, that top eyelet. And then the rest will be hidden. And just gonna really, you're really not gonna see much of the laces here in this, and that's okay. So I'm just gonna really quickly indicate those. And then we get our collar line. If you can't do it all one line like that, that's that's just years of practice. So. If you're just starting out, you shouldn't be able to get it all in one line like that. That's okay, just, you know, it takes years to kind of build up these skills. I've been doing this for 25 years now. A little bit over, more than that. So of course I can just kind of flow down a, a sketch in 20, 30 minutes here, but you know, this might take you a lot longer. It might take you a lot more overlays. So, sometimes, you know, I did, did this initial underlay. Sometimes I'll go over this five, 10 times to do one sketch. And that's just, it's just part of it. You know, you're, you're exploring, you're trying to push, push yourself out of what you usually do. It's, it's gonna take that. You know, otherwise you just kind of end up drawing the same thing all the time and um, you get stale. So. It's, it's normal to, to, to fail and to explore. And it's just all part of the game of having a, a long career as a designer. So let's do some, some kind of large perforations there. Start adding a little bit of shade too. This is, you know, this upper is, it's rounded, right? It's not gonna be totally flat. I wanna show that. using the side of my pencil to achieve that. Let's get some of these, uh, this traction in here. We'll kind of break it up a little bit. So kind of keeping with that V pattern but just making it a little bit more interesting, a little more playful. Maybe I'll pick up this kind of perforated circle pattern in the, in the kind of crash pad area here. I like to, I like to do that in terms of like, I like the details to kind of echo around. You know, it's like, it's like you want it to rhyme a little bit, right? I don't want the parts to feel so individualistic that they feel like they're coming off of different designs. I want it to feel really cohesive. I'll just add some slight ribs to this kind of um, molded arch support here and those, those molded ribs do two things. One, it adds a detail, but two, again, I'm, I'm converging to that perspective vanishing point here. So it's kind of reinforcing the perspective of the sketch a little bit. Come back into these details and punch them up a little bit. You'll notice I kind of move around the sketch. Sometimes when I'm, I'm doing something like this, I get, sometimes I get bored doing it. It's because it's repetitive or I want to think through it a little bit more. So I actually give myself a little bit of a break and move to a different part of the sketch for a little bit. I want to pick up that, that circle pattern again, right in the very forefoot. Now you're not going to see a ton of this. I just want to indicate it. And if I did it, and if I explored this design more and I did an outsole view, 
you know, I would explore that obviously a lot more. Okay, I wanna show, this is knit. So you might've seen me do this in some other sketches, but I have some, some pieces of textile that I'll put underneath the sketch. And then, so I'm placing this underneath where the, the textile is in the drawing, and then using the side of my pencil to transfer the texture. It's like magic, isn't it? Now, of course, obviously, if I was working digitally, I would just get an image of a mesh and stretch it over the sketch. But um, it's fun to do it the old school way, too. Add a little bit more form and shade there. My pencil point broke, but it's all right. I'm just gonna work with it and show that flex notch a little bit more. Yeah, it's you know I kind of. As I work, I want to like pick up the contrast in the sketch to make it as, as dynamic as possible so it's easy to read. So I'm just kind of coming back through and tightening up these lines a little bit. I used to call it sweetening up the lines. And lastly, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this. So I just really wanna show, and I don't really wanna render it all the way, but I just wanna show you know, where the, the rubber pods are, where some of the, the breaks are in the design. Just to try to emphasize the sketch. So I'm just gonna quickly just lay in some color. My old boss used to call this Blowing, blowing in color. It's like you just want to just like go, whew, just push a little color into the sketch without overdoing it. And kind of notice how I'm shading along with that that vanishing point there, and reinforcing kind of the perspective of the sketch, keeping it kind of loose. I'm gonna do the same here. Already that just reads a lot more. I'm gonna go with a slightly darker color to just punch in some of the, the, the shading. So it's gonna really start to, see that how that's really starting to reinforce that perspective. So it's really helping, to sh helping me to show you know, what part of that rubber is kind of wrapping around. Get the fine tip out here. Real careful. Sketch is almost done now. I don't want to blow it. Emphasizing again, just where those those materials break a little bit here. And also kind of show some of this texture. Just real subtly, it doesn't have to be I don't have to do too much here. I think, you know, I also am really careful of like, I don't, I don't wanna necessarily over detail things at this point in a sketch because it's just a, a loose concept right now. I mean, I'll bring that orange color into this eyelet here. I always like if there's like a little 
little pop. Ooh, and maybe there's like a little, yeah, let's do a, let's do, let's do a pull tab that comes off of this part. Just kind of like how I use the textures, right? Like I had the perforation and then that goes to these guys. Um, I'm using the color in, in a similar way. Right, so I'm like, I have kind of these main hits of color on the bottom of the shoe, but then just pulling a little bit of that into the, the upper parts of the shoe. Contrast here. Maybe there'd be a similar kind of pull tab here that we're just getting a little peek out of. Just a little hint of it. Size. This, this is a different material. So all my, my rubber is orange, and I want to show this um, molded arch support here. laces and just just really loosely indicated laces here don't want don't want to get too specific Lastly, let's get a white pencil and just kind of work back into this. I'll just show this is, you know, this midsole. I want to separate from the upper a little bit. So I'm just going to add some, some stippling to indicate that the texture change to foam. Just, just again, just helps kind of push it away from what's going on in the midsole. From, from what's going on in, in the upper. Get to kind of emphasize this plateau here. I lost it a little bit. pencil around some of these edges again just kind of showing the, the material change here there's always a, a little bit of a bevel where these materials come together especially you know we're talking about kind of a, a molded rubber component and um, a foam like an EVA component it's always going to be like just some some layers where those all things all those things come together Pretty much done. So there you have it, the two of you, kind of a uh, outsole, upper, three-quarter view, 
And again, remember where we kind of started out with this, right? We started out defining that overall envelope of that, that box, that perspective, and then doing this really rough um, underlay. And look how much this underlay looks like a potato now compared to the, the final sketch. The final sketch is so much tighter and sleeker, but that's okay because I was just working it out. And then we got to this, this final sketch. Pretty, pretty psyched about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I, I hope that this helps you when you're working on your footwear sketches in the future. Um, if you try it out, let me know. Um, if you post on Instagram or threads, I'm at, at Dtulo. Would love to, love to see, so tag me. Um, if you do a, a sketch, I'll always love to check it out. And I hope this works out for you. If you wanna see more stuff like this, you heard it before. Like, subscribe, comment below, share with a friend. Would love anything like that. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take it easy.